ultimately, I don't know who's responsible. And most victims do not. Certainly there are contractors involved, people with experience in mental health. And they believe the psychology is the key to everything, right? Brainwash everybody, control their minds, turn them into a bunch of yes men and sheep and puppets, shells, cronies. So it says right here, aside from the development of the two sides, nuclear arsenals, and the deployment of conventional military forces, the struggle for dominance was expressed via proxy wars around the globe, psychological warfare, massive propaganda campaigns and espionage, rivalry at sports events, and technological competitions such as the space race. So, basically, you have the typical cowardly psychologists fucking up everyone's lives, um, thinking that they're smart. We've seen this all throughout history, which makes psychology probably the most despicable field. Um, if it wasn't for psychiatry, that is, which is basically psychology plus the drugs, with an emphasis on drug the life out of them and fuck up their life. You know, so they're they're making a killing. And they're also making a fucking in more than one way because they're trying to control reproduction. Psychiatrists are disproportionately sex offenders and so on. And when you consider that a good portion of them are women, you know, at least by now, it seems pretty dismal <laughs> of a profession, <laughs> you know, because, you know, they all have dirt on each other. That's why they don't tell on each other. They're all kind of criminals together. So if the men are a bunch of sex offenders and doing all this gang stalking and stuff, you know, what what are the women doing? <laughs> They're on some feminist witch fucking shit, right? Some bullshit. Psychological warfare, massive propaganda campaigns and espionage, rivalry at sports events. Those things were like back to back on Wikipedia, right? It's in your face. It's right here. It's a cold war. We have a cold war against Russia and the terrorists going on at the same time. Oh, and uh, this is my last video. I appreciate my viewers for watching. Um, I know some of you are gang stalkers. Some of you were the enemy. And it's hard to forgive you. But I forgive you, and I carried my cross gracefully, masterfully, damn near perfectly. And I'm ready for the end. I'm not perfect, but I'm certainly proud of myself. I'm sad for everyone, kind of miserable. You know, I have my fleshly desires. But spiritually, I am fulfilled, and I accept my fate. I'm going to finish... One last beer or so. And I'm just going to wait. I don't plan to be violent or anything like that. But I will defend myself. And wait. This is, this is where my videos end.